brand new day and you know what that means 24 hours ahead of us full of endless opportunities anything you want to do today you can do it do it with confidence in yourself smile make the most of today and do it with purpose hope you guys are having a great start to your day I'm pretty pumped up myself because you know why I am ready to make a change Lately, not going to lie, my nutrition has been suffering. School has been piling on me and honestly I'm starting to get overwhelmed just with studying and managing everything in my life. And as a result of that, I feel as though my diet has been falling down. I have not been sticking to meal prepping and for me personally, meal prepping is what keeps me on a regimen, it keeps me going, it keeps me sticking to a healthy lifestyle. Today, I want to make a change and I'm going to make some food and do a little meal prepping. My mom is the absolute best and she made me some sweet potato little chips and she also made me some broccoli and cauliflower so that is all set to go. The only thing I'm missing is some chicken. We need the protein of course so last night I picked up two packages from ShopRite so that's what we're going to Gonna make today it's not too cold out so of course we're gonna stick that on the grill because to me that's the best way to have chicken so let's get started It's slimy, it's gross, and I never enjoy it, so thank goodness just finished that up. Now it is time to put all the seasonings together. Don't mind the little baby over there. He was crying, and I didn't know what was wrong, so basically I just rolled his bed in the kitchen in the center of the floor so that he's nice and close to me, and now he is A-OK. -okay. Hopefully my parents don't see this because they probably would not like that. <laughs> chicken is all done. It looks beautiful. Look at those grill marks. I cannot wait to eat this. One last step and that is to measure out our chicken. I personally am really big on keeping track of how much protein I consume per meal. Now the kitchen scale that I typically use, of course, I feel terrible. I broke it and it was Alex's. I think I might have overused it. But the great thing is Vanny Planet hooked me up with a brand new kitchen scale that I am super grateful for. I have it right here with me. I just put the batteries in. It is so beautiful. Look at this. It's so sleek. It's definitely an upgrade from the last scale and it's super light. This is called the Vanity Planet Tar Digital Kitchen Scale and I can't wait to give it a go. Now a little bit about kitchen scales if you don't own one yourself already. Super accurate, super convenient for measuring how much food you're consuming per meal. Now before I really got into living a healthy lifestyle, never did I know anything about portion control. I literally just kept piling onto my plate and I would just eat, eat, eat. And let me tell you, once I got a scale, my mind was blown with how much I was actually consuming. You wanna know what you're feeding yourself, so this is a great way to know exactly how much calories you're consuming, or if you're going the route of knowing how much nutrients you're consuming, whether it be carbs, whether it be protein. You'd be amazed how small a serving truly is once you begin measuring it. Now, if you guys count macros, it's awesome because of all the different unit measurements. It has milliliters, grams, fluid ounces, pounds, ounces, it has all the above. Light and compact, so if you guys are on the go, traveling, or if you're going to work, this thing allows you to measure it anywhere. I like taking scales with me, especially when I'm preparing for a show, because that is when time is of the essence, and it's really crucial to know exactly what you're having and putting in your body. Before we portion everything out, I just want to let you know, down below in the description box, I'll be leaving a discount code, so if you guys want to check out the scale for yourself and give it a go, definitely take advantage right now, because it's 50% off, so you can get it for $25. Let's get started with portioning everything out. Honestly, I'm feeling amazing now that my food is all set to go. I got my chicken, my veggies, my sweet potatoes. I feel so happy that I accomplished that. So now I'm going to head off to the gym. It's been actually a few days since I've been there. I've been missing it for sure. Today is going to be a leg day workout, so I'm going to pack up all my stuff take this makeup off and then head off. So I'll see you in a few. Just got to the gym parking lot. See you inside.
go outside. Excuse me, give me that. No wood eating. Uh uh uh. Gimme. Back home from the gym feeling quite amazing. I'm in the tank top outside. Can't get much better than this. So the workout went really, really well, but not going to lie, like midway through squats, I was feeling quite discouraged just because I felt like the weight was just so heavy and that was weight that I'm typically able to push through so easily. I feel like it's ultimately because I haven't been able to dedicate as much time to the gym. I've had some time away from it. Squats, I haven't been doing that much. I've been kind of making my workouts a lot shorter. And so as a result of that, I've kind Kind of been neglecting it and I think because I've been doing that I lost my strength and whenever this happens I kind of get upset I had to remind myself that things happen and now the next goal is to just get back to where I was and to surpass that I used to be able to rep out 225 and it wasn't even difficult and now today one rep of 225 kind of felt tough but you know what as much as I wanted to be like oh this stinks I had to kind of just refocus my mindset and tell myself you know what you once were able to do that there's no reason that you can't build yourself back up. If you're going through a tough time in your workouts, if you feel like you're plateauing and you just can't push that weight anymore, do not give up. You can do it. The amazing thing about the gym is that you can rebuild yourself and you can build yourself to become stronger. When you're in the gym, that's your time to work on yourself and to progress forward. Current goal is to get my strength back up for squats and trying to implement it more into my leg workouts because lately, like I said, I haven't been able to just because of time constraints with school. I kind of had to shorten my workouts just so I'm able to have enough time for studies and everything else like that. So I'm back home. Just drank my protein shake. Now it is time to eat, so let's do it. Just finished cooking, took all about like 10 minutes, super quick, let me show you guys what I'll be eating. Of course, got my gallon with my water, some slamming sriracha, I put this on everything, and then here's my meal. So we have two whole eggs, we have about like five, four or five liquid egg whites mixed with some roasted broccoli and cauliflower, and then I have this tortilla. Uh, not real sure where I got it from, but it was in the fridge, so I decided to put this on the pan. Do it on both sides and make it nice and toasty and crispy. So I'm probably gonna just mix this all together. My mouth is watering just talking about it because I am so hungry. I usually don't watch TV, but when I do, I'm always watching the Food Network channel because I'm just that obsessed with food. Does anyone else watch Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives? And sugar, grind them to death. Now we add in what? Water. We process them up. We strain the pulp and the juice out till we get about a gallon of lemon. Comment on this video because it's probably one of my favorite. Other than Chopped and all the seasonal baking shows, this is definitely hands down one of my top, top five shows that I watch. So comment. I'm curious. Do you guys watch too? All right. Enough of me talking. I'm going to eat because I'm starving. About to go to bed, just got out of the shower, feeling so tired right now. I know as soon as I shut this camera off, I'm gonna pass right out. It's gonna be a good night's sleep, I can feel it already. <laughs> so I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Have a good night.